I was, I was just praying and I just, I don't understand. There is so much fear and it's everywhere. It is especially, especially with Christians. Why are Christians so scared? They're so scared of dying. They're, they're so scared of this disease. This, this coronavirus, why? Why are you so scared? Why do you have fear? I've been praying. I was like, Lord, I don't understand it. I don't understand why they're allowing fear. Get right with God, please. You have to understand who you are and what your authority is in Christ. Don't be scared. And if you don't know who you are in Christ, if you don't know who you are and, and what you're able to do, and what you're supposed to be here for. Open up your Bible. Start falling in love with him. It's, this isn't a game, man. It's, this is for real. And it's, it's really sad that, that so many, and so many, so many Christians are belittling other Christians for their faith and telling them that they should be locked up. And some of them have even wanted them dead. Are you serious? Who are you? Why would you say that? And I know why. And it's not you because you don't know. You don't know. You don't know what you're saying. And you don't know what, like, the spirits that are around you Cast them out. Ask God. Solely focus on God. Yearn for Him. Because He's yearning for you. He always has been. And you keep letting, pushing Him away. Can you stop pushing Him away? Time is short now. And you can feel it. It's becoming shorter and shorter. Lord, <laughs> come back to him. He is our first love. <laughs> don't, don't allow the enemy to grab a hold of your life. <laughs> Please. Lord, oh, I pray for their hearts to be softened towards you. And I pray that their hearts to be softened towards others. <laughs> Allow us to remove ourselves, our flesh, Lord. We want to be filled with you. Lord, we want to be filled with you. <laughs> Forgive us, Lord. Oh, forgive us, please. Lord. Oh, we want to love you the way that you want to be loved, Lord. My vessel is a temple of the Holy Spirit. I want to live holy, Lord. Because you are holy and you need, you need a clean vessel. My vessel is clean for you. Oh. Back to God.
come back to him. <laughs> there are things that we're all supposed to be doing. <laughs> Fighting with one another isn't one of them. We're supposed to be unified. We're supposed to be a body. <laughs> What happens, like, if if you break a nail, that, and you, like, it rips off, that hurts, right? It's the same thing. God's people are not unified. His body isn't together right now. We're so broken. <laughs> Let go of all that brokenness that's inside of us. And we need to come back to God. Because he's the only one who could pull us together. And we need to. Or else we'll be taken out. And I'll be left for the next generation. It's all throughout, all throughout, all throughout the Bible. Please. 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 And don't, don't depend, don't depend on the government to bail you out. There's not going to be anything there. Please. The government is not your daddy. It's time to get off of the government. And this includes... This includes all government assistance. <laughs> assistance in everything. Especially we as God's people, we can't be living off the government because our full trust isn't in him when we're depending on the government. It has been there. It has been there and when we needed it. But right now God's telling us no. <laughs> The government is not our daddy. He is our father. And we need to focus and solely trust in him, not anything else. And when we're trusting in him, we're going to sit and we're going to love each other. And oh, we need... We need to support each other. That's how we're going to survive. It's not, it's not from anybody else, so all of this hate that's going on, please stop. It's not worth it. It really isn't. Because the people that you think are trying to hurt you, they're really not. They're probably just acting out of fear. Please. Come back. Come back to Christ. Please come back to him. This, it's, it's time. And start preparing those, those ideas that God has put inside of your head to start your own business. Follow that. He's telling you that for a reason. It's, it's not just, oh, maybe I'll do this later. No, he wants you to get started on it now. We have time right now. Do it right now before the time's out. Please, oh, just know I love you all, please. Lord, thank you for calling your people back to you. Lord, thank you. You, you are the healer, and you are the provider, Lord. I love you. <laughs> Lord, bless, bless the people. Lord, bless the people that are watching. And bless.
last thoughts you know, just come across Lord even the ones that don't watch bless them Lord because I know I know that if someone will plant and some will water and some will harvest Lord But whatever we do, Lord, it's always going to glorify you. It's always going to glorify you. Oh, Lord, I love you. Mm, I love you.